I've been building a fancy new run for the ducks and chickens. Now they've got loads more space and an electric fence all round to keep the foxes out. The ferret hutch had to be moved, so I lost the bait station that I'd set up on the hutch roof. But I've been working on a new improved bait station in an even better position. This one's on a tree stump. I drove in some posts to hold the log upright, then hollowed out the top to hold the bait. I filled it up with peanuts and I'd barely turned my back before the first visitor arrived. Before long, the Jay was back. He's learned to cram several peanuts in his beak at once and then fly off to eat them elsewhere. I do worry about his table manners though. Like I've said before, although jays are on the general license, they aren't really a problem around here, so I leave them be. Grey squirrels are a different matter though. They're very numerous and they cause all sorts of damage. This one appeared and started tucking into the peanuts, but I was ready and waiting with the BSA Scorpion SE. Even with pests like squirrels, I always like to make sure of a clean kill and for that, I find a headshot's best. Unlike the crows and magpies, at least squirrels hold their heads still long enough for a shot. At this range, I need to allow a bit of holdover. The pellet should hit the first mark below the crosshairs. Seen in slow motion from the side, you can see the devastating impact when the pellet hits. This camera is running at 50 frames per second, and the squirrel is completely dead within a couple of frames, or less than 1 25th of a second. Its leg muscles still contract, throwing it forwards and up, but that's just its nerves reacting, and it slumps to the ground. It's proof that a good headshot really does give you instant, humane kills on pests like squirrels.